Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. And if you like college, fashion, married, and student content, that's what I post on here. But today I'm going to be sharing how I get prepared for a new semester. But this is going to be a vlog style video because I thought it would be better than just me sitting down and talking. So step number one is going to be to get all of our syllabi which I have right here, and to just plan out everything, due dates, um, just writing it all out so that I don't miss anything, color coding, all that good stuff. So let's get in to the planning. So I only have four different syllabi here. One of my classes still hasn't given me one, even though I had one of them yesterday, but they didn't have it available. So I'm just gonna be going through these and this is my daily planner by all things Lillian if you have ever heard of her so this is just my daily things that I plan it's not where I plan all of my school stuff though this planner from Target is where I plan all of my school stuff so I like this planner because it has the monthly view very nice and then it has the weekly view of course so i think the best way that i plan for a new semester is i start a little color coding tab on the top so that i know which class is associated with which color so as you can see i kind of have started that here with the classes but i haven't put any due dates in so that is what we're gonna do right now i didn't mention this earlier but another thing that I do because I don't live on campus and I love to skip class is I write the absence, pol absence policy on the very back. Sorry, I struggled to say that. So that I know how many times I can miss. It's just in my notes section in the back. And then every time I miss a class, I just cross out one of the little tallies so that I know how many more I have. Start your computations. So now that I went through every syllabus and wrote down all the important dates as you were watching um i am gonna look at my textbook situation so the first thing that i said in a tiktok that i was gonna do is even determine if i need the textbook for the class which i did determine that for my video class there's a textbook but there's no assignments with the textbook so i could get it if i really wanted to but I can already tell that I have so many other textbooks that I do actually have to read that I'm probably not going to. So I can just get rid of buying that textbook. And then the second thing that I do is also ask any of my friends if they've taken the class before so that I can borrow a textbook from them. If you're a freshman, I would go get an upperclassman to ask. Um, I am borrowing some textbooks from one of my friends who already took the class. So that's another textbook that I don't need to buy, which is saving me money. However, there is some textbooks that I do need to buy. Most of my classes have two or three textbooks, which is kind of a lot. But I always check on Amazon, which I have Amazon pulled up right here. And I check my school bookstore to see which ones are cheaper so that I can get the best deal. So that's what I'm going to be looking at now. Don't 
Lost in your fragrance Still makes me anxious It doesn't feel right not knowing you You never show me or tell me the way that you're feeling Good morning! One of the little things that I like to do for myself more regularly is light candles. The reason why is because it's just like a tiny little thing that you can do that just makes the mood so much better. So I have the fall morning one that is lit right now and it feels like a fall morning. That's one little thing that I do but I'm going to show you some other things I do to just create a routine that prioritizes me. I'll never know. I get impatient. This constant waiting. Just wanna be the one that you come to. We act like we're ageless. I don't wanna waste this time with you. I just sat and had my coffee in my acai bowl, which kind of seems like something regular people do every day, but that doesn't happen for me every day. So that's another way that I'm trying to prioritize myself is giving myself 20 minutes to sit down in the morning and eat like a full breakfast, which I don't normally do because I wake up and immediately start doing things every single day. So that's another little routine thing that I'm trying to add in. Not every morning, but some mornings would be good. got some glass Tupperware today and I am going to put fruits and veggies in here which you're like what does that have to do with the vlog because I think a good rule of thumb to be prepared and have a good routine that prioritizes myself is being prepared so right now that I have free time I'm going to cut up some fruits and veggies because one that's healthy for me to eat later and two I won't eat them as much if they're not easily accessible. But this way, they will be. So we're gonna get started with the fruit and veggies. that's the end of my little preparing for the semester vlog and I know it was random but thanks for watching and if you liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel and let me know of any other video ideas you like to see from me because I love to do those for you and I'll see you guys next time bye guys